guys. So we're about to head over to Lavango, which will be a whole separate vlog. So we're about to just show you the drive. Back to the ship. Back to the ship. St. Thomas you could just take what you call a safari and it could take you all parts of the island I'm not sure the rate but I'll put the rate amount here it used to be a dollar it's still a dollar Wow after all these years it's still a dollar to go to different places so right now we're leaving from town to what you call Red Hook and my father-in-law is gonna take us um, but he has a safari, but it's not like the one that run on the road So if you see him and you want to stop the love chariot, it's not gonna cost you a dollar. Just giving you notice now <laughs> Back to the ship. Back to the yeah, ship. Back to the ship. Yes, back to the ship. All right, we're going to Carnival. up we're about to do a little walk around until it's time for the boat all right So guys, we're going on a lengthy day trip, and we are walking over to the main streets of Red Hook. The first spot we see morning, we pass in top on table. Um, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When I looked them up yesterday, because so I was looking for places for us to have breakfast. And their reviews were pretty good. So if you go that way, it's going to take the point Smith Bay. Yes. Alright, so then... Right across from the dock, we got Total Red Hook. It's a gas station, bodega, convenience store. So you stop here, you get everything you need. If you continue down for the walk. Ocean Safari, guys. That's the one right here to the left of us. Where you could book all your excursions and your water stuff. This restaurant, it's called Easterly. It's been on my list because it's very like Charleston inspired, very aesthetic, all of that stuff. And every time we come here, I just haven't gotten a chance to go. The Easterly. It's closed. closed, but you can see the decor. Like, you guys know this is my vibe. So, guys, it's early, so a lot of places are closed right now because it's island time, right? You either move here because you want to get away from the hustle and bustle or the rat race, or if you live here, you was never part of it. So, things may not open as early as normal here, all right. Look at the Texas pitch that you always tell me about. Yep. We're going to American Yacht Harbor right now. Across the street, that's where Duffy's Love Shack is. And a plaza is called a Red Hook Family Factor. And that's the plaza where everything's at. at across the street. So as you see, there's a lot in Red Hook. It's a short little strip, but there's a lot to do. 
in the small area. I just got um, what you call a sweet ting. And you know, sweet ting, I'm a sweet ting, so I'm having a sweet ting. coming today. Hi. Hi. We reach back. Yeah. Your money. Day after we got in. He was supposed to be headed day after we came in, but his flight got canceled again. Oh, you got the ball. Oh, you got the ball. <laughs> This is it? Huh? We'll take both. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm. Wayne Burst is juicy and it's sour. Is it? It's up on the side of the road. You can get it. So see guys, that's like Jamaica, in a way. This is the only stuff they have. They're drinking coconut jelly because they come off the island. Can't eat all Guinness. If you disrespect our island like that. How much for one? We're getting Guinness for free. Now we got star apple, not star apple, star fruit. We didn't train for train. I gave her some of my Guinness. Wow. It's called Par Parshan. Mm -hmm. Parshan Bar and Restaurant. See, we got seating upstairs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man, you're officially bigger than me now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Soji. What's up? What's up? Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. You're like a big man. The Look at you. <laughs> My bigger than you? Yeah, that's what's <laughs> up. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about to head out to dinner. Um, not dinner, sorry. We're heading out to this place called Haven Site um, for music, dinner, vibes, all of that. Um, one of Travis's cousins will be singing tonight, so we're going to listen to her um, debuting with this band. So we're going to take you guys with us to go do that. Also, you probably saw that Travis's little brother, Jareem, just flew in today. Um, he is finally um, able to travel fully because last year he enrolled in, or enlisted in the military, the army, and he, you know, has been kind of getting his thing together and doing his own personal journey. And so we're so happy to like, I haven't seen him since he actually went into basic training last year sometime. Yeah, because it's 2023, last year sometime. So we're excited to be hanging out. Right, so what's up guys, like I was saying, we all change, we shower them fresh and ready to hit the streets at night. Yeah, I got a bottle of wine in my hand. We had so many bottles left over from our wedding. I think Melissa showed you all earlier. We might as well put them to use. So come on, let's see what's going on for tonight. Keep it moving, make it with Matthews. Don't forget to like, share, hit the notification bell. All right, we're trying to build this page. And so yeah, we're in Haven Site right now. Haven Site is the shopping area where the cruise ship docks come in. Um, it's located in town. Yeah, but I'm not. 
As you can see, I was dressed for workout, hiking specifically, but um, this weather is like, there's literally no blue skies at all, just straight clouds and rain. So I don't think we're gonna be doing that hike. It's now 8 a.m. We were supposed to leave from like 7 a.m. But we'll see what the weather looks like for the rest of the day. We're in the car now, guys. Um, we have a birthday party today that we're prepping for, so we just took Travis's mom to the bank. And it's raining, like I said earlier, so now we're kind of driving around town to buy the time. I'm really hoping the rain goes away so we could make this drive to Bodo and see what's out there. A gleam of light, actually. Yeah, see, it's coming yeah, more and more. I see a gleam of light back in. It might, it might, it might not get sunny, but it might stop raining. I hope. I want to get sunny enough to dry up the damn road. I hate feeling wet when I dress up. But. It's a rainy day. It's a rainy day. Rainy day. Well, they just got me a carib ginger. what the food truck has for us. Set them on in rainy day. I told babe the sun, the sky is clearing up. It's still at like 8.30 a.m. Morning. You know, you see the water sports dream? You didn't have this when you were living here. I mean, no, I mean. So guys, just outside the airport, they have an aqua park flash zone. Taylor and Travis went on this the last time. Last year, they had fun. I love this time. Yeah, guys, so the wife down on the beach, of course, you know, taking pictures, doing all the Instagram stories and real. Me and the little boy just here chilling into the ocean. You know, this was our backyard at one point, man. See what I'm saying? We gotta run by this thing and don't even appreciate it. But I plan right that I try plan for us to do one of those Alpha Luna camps. Well, you don't see the commercial? Um, bad fitness, LOC. Oh, look! Oh my god! Oh, that's... Oh, 
awesome. Is this you know, I remember you. I know her face. <clears throat> he said the young one's supposed to remember you. I, I, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just following the boss lady. She is handling business. She's paying her florist and her event decorator to set up the party for her aunt. And I'm just following along. from the restaurant you can see the cruise ship dock we're on our way to oh you can see the airport from here guys we're on our way to what they call Bordo in St. Thomas and that's where the plane lands so when you're landing and you're on the left side of the plane like I suggested on Instagram you're seeing all of these hills and valleys and it's way more beautiful when the sun is up, of course, today's a cloudy day. Yeah. All right, guys, you see us looking very sharp. We're heading to the surprise 80th birthday party. Um, so we're actually, it's on. Yeah. Yeah. We are very excited to be dazzled and razzled. <laughs> They're gonna be like, well, he'll my, look, but he'll my gang gang dress up and look good too. Yeah, you know, man. I, I gotta look, you know, me shining. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Tell yeah. them, babe. Y'all met Travis and Travis. That's the third half. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everybody, good morning. It is Monday morning and the weekend festivities have ended. So let me tell them something, okay? We went hiking Saturday morning, like to, um, you probably saw where we went to Rain, what name, babe? Botany Bay. Botany Bay, um, Mermaid's Chair. And guys, I know we're telling you that it's Probably a beautiful scene and all of that stuff. But honestly, the walk back is not for the faint of heart, okay? My mother-in-law was struggling, so was I. But I'm the one with the pain because she's probably used to doing all the walking and all of that, you guys. So it wasn't a mountain, let me be clear. It's a road, but I'm gonna show you the kind of road. It's a similar kind of road that's here at my in-laws house like it's just very steep so you have to be able to have the right shoes and the right stamina like I was going like this I even said to Travis one time just let me crawl <laughs> for me it was, it was easy because that was easy yeah it was like a normal like a normal walk okay like show off military guy <laughs> listen we wake up today in a cleaning frenzy everybody cleaning Travis about to mop Jareem sweeping. I cleaned the room this morning. Hey, okay, Jareem. You got to get you some sons like this. This is how you pick a husband. <laughs> this is how you pick a husband. The ones where their moms teach them to clean. And they just get up and fall in line. That's what I'm talking about. I'm telling the women them this is how they pick a husband. They take them to their mother's house and see. How they treat their mother, huh? house? Yeah, if they clean, if they sweep, and you know, then you know for a fact you're getting a good one. Good morning. Morning, baby. So we're currently at Weeks and Weeks Day Break. We're used to coming to when we're um, on island because that's something that Travis is used to eating. Currently at weeks and weeks, babe. Yep. Getting your bread. That's right. We used to do this. Used to be over there, and then they bought this land and built the shop, and it's been here ever since. It's literally been in the same place forever. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Three cup of bush tea. Oh, the bread come quickie. You see how the place quiet, babe? Monday morning. And nobody in their work. Morning. morning. Good morning. So what's the order? Tell them what's the order. Two butter bread. Glazed sweet bun. All the yeah. Sausage for the wife. Yeah, again. <laughs> Cheese. And bush tea. Three cups of bush. We got our bread, we're going to go home and eat. <laughs> This is the pork roll, I think. Sausage. Sausage. And you break it open. The long cut bread. Do this. And bun them. It's your cheese. You got a cheese. Good morning guys, good morning, good morning from beautiful St. Thomas. Yes, we're still in St. Thomas, but today we are actually at a new venue. Oh, my coffee's ready. And we are staying at Hubby's Best Friends Airbnb in Mahogany Run. Um, it's day... Oh my gosh, 
gosh, the week felt like so much longer. And we have um, a new Airbnb. Of course, we're going to show you the tour. We can't decide if we're going to make it a separate tour or if we're going to include it in our St. Thomas video. But either way, you're going to get it. Um, it's super beautiful and modern. It's like a modern beach house and it's overlooking the water. Guys, the views are amazing. So amazing. But yeah, so we're spending the next few days here before we leave St. Thomas. Just getting some, um, you know, couple time. <laughs> started raining you cannot even see the islands anymore you absolutely cannot that's so therapeutic listen to this peace dream is packing to go ready to leave or not really <laughs> well military duty calls and we had breakfast plans. Oh, look, it's already clearing up. You can see the islands. So we have breakfast plans, and we're trying to go do that now. We're going to a place called Point Pleasant. So I'm about to do my makeup. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. So just now you didn't see the island. Now you do. And you can see it, like, literally fading away. The sun is over there. You can see the island over here right here and you can see the blue sky is coming back that's what island living is you get a little bit of rain and then it clears up simple look I just use loose powder um, a little bit of concealer under my eyes eyeshadow and that's it so that's the look you guys and the Sun is back out and shining you can see the water crystal clear and we're about to leave to go have breakfast so we're taking you guys with us but before you Guys, I know I told you we were about to go have breakfast, but it's super late. It's 12 o'clock right now. So we're just going to go have lunch, but it's the same place. It's called Sun and Sea Bar and Grill at the Point Pleasant Resort. So if you pull into Point Pleasant, of course, they're going to stop you at the gate. Just make sure you tell them that you're going to the Sun and Sea restaurant. And the views here are amazing because it's right on the water. So let's see if the food is any good. Let's go check it out. We was underwater just like this. We literally was right next to the water just like this. Mm-hmm. See them dying? Big fat fish right in front of the sky. They're fighting for something. Look guys, they have hot sauces, guava. How is it guys? So Victor, you gonna be Victor gonna be decorating our Airbnb. <laughs> this one's guava, and they sell them here, but they are on Instagram, so I'm gonna get them. 
Thank you. I'm telling them this is what I saw every day growing up, man. I've been seeing this from walking the hill to riding bikes or pushing bikes up the hill, riding back down to actually driving. Like this is literally the best sight ever. And you just get to see it every day of your life living on the Virgin Islands. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Like here's what the thing is you could be having a bad day like stressed out about something and seeing this just makes me smile just gives me all the positive feelings you can't have a bad day closing up it's now after two and everything shuts down at five so we really don't have a lot of time hi guys what's up what's up what's up yes yes we're still in st thomas enjoying the beautiful weather in paradise but, beautiful um, paradise yeah today we're going to be bringing you guys a walking tour we're going to take a walk down main street go through all the little nooks and crannies go through some of these jewelry stores try to avoid all the hagglers trying to get you to spend your money but it's really a lot of hidden gems in between a lot of these side streets and we always drove through now so we took a walk down main street so we figured we're going to take you guys with us today now before you do don't forget to stop like the video hit the notification bell and share it with a friend they may yes. see something you don't yes, see something please. you like all right we're still trying to go to this channel we thank and appreciate you guys tuning in with us that's why we're trying to bring you guys as much content as we can and we'll take you guys on our family adventures, all right? All right, let's do this, guys. All right, guys, we're back home at the Airbnb, and Victor is here with Victoria. That's his daughter. Don't they look alike? You guys are about to get beat up in a. You about to be fresh? Tonight. So you could look like younger than you actually are? Yeah, on the scale. <laughs> Is that Leo? Yeah. Hi, Leo. Say hi to the camera. We're tired. morning sunshine you should see the sun rising behind you so peaceful it's our last morning in st. Thomas you guys and it's such a peaceful morning 
Yeah, right here. But look at the smoke. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's concrete. Oh my gosh. Look at look at the water. It's moving. There's a spot look like look alike behind it. Babe, it's coming. Look at this. Well, I guess we should run to the car. <laughs> Just an affection though. Look at that. Maybe anyway, we got Good morning guys. So today is our last day in St. Thomas and we just finished having some coffee on the terrace overlooking the beautiful sunrise and now we're heading to pick up Travis's mom to take her to work and then we're gonna wash the car, pick up some food and go to this coffee shop that I've been wanting to go since we've been here. So seven days um, has definitely come to an end, but it was very full of adventure and fun, so. Always good to be home. Further than I was nice. This is the owner. Her name is Monique. Oh, right here, hold on. All right, guys. So we're currently driving into Cookie Point. Um, parking is on your left. It costs you five dollars. You sure you don't want to pull up up this way since we really leave in the car? We don't want to pay for parking right now. So we're pulling into. Um, Coral World, or just off the side right here, there's a side parking. That one looked good. We got a parking for free. guys we're about to check out we're leaving our airbnb right now headed to a coffee shop and then to the airport are you sad babe i am but i want to go see my child so i'm not that sad yeah me too i miss her terribly i miss her terribly i've been pouting <laughs> not at all Alright baby, let's do this. 